Water is life, essential to everything we do. It's also a vital part of the European economy in everything from agriculture to electricity generation, from tourism to transport. With the European Union becoming increasingly integrated and with water supplies coming under increasing pressure, the European Parliament wants to see the development of a strategic vision for the management of this precious resource. Richard Seber, an Austrian MEP, is our group's coordinator on the Parliament's Environment Committee. He's also the author of a report examining the current status of implementation of EU water legislation. The report was approved this week by the committee. But what is its overall message? The main message is uh, that we have to try to improve our water use. So here I think we should focus on the main users, the main consumers, which is mainly in, in Europe is energy and agriculture. And I think uh, we should as well try to raise the awareness, generally speaking, for water-related questions that consumers and of course the big users are better in their use. The report is aimed at guiding the European Commission's thinking. The Commission will shortly unveil a blueprint to safeguard Europe's water resources for the next half century. Mr Seber's report is critical of certain EU member states that have failed to achieve targets for water management set out in the year 2000. But in the report, Mr Seber also calls for the Commission to focus on regional water management and not to adopt a one-size-fits-all approach. He explains why. If you have a one-size-fits-all solution, that I think is especially not use suitable because the differences are really uh, large. For example, I'm coming from Austria, the oil where we use around the 2 to 3 percent of our water uh, supply and we have regions like Cyprus where we have a really a water scarce uh, country which uses uh, over 50 percent. So if we make European regulations, we have to take that into account because otherwise uh, we would have uh, a blueprint which is coming out which is not uh, addressing really the questions we have. So, MEPs think a regional approach is important, but there's also an international dimension to water management, not only in terms of the resources that member states share, but in terms of contributing to good water management practice globally. And Mr Sabre, who's also chair of the Parliament's Intergroup on Water, wants to see water issues placed at the heart of all relevant EU policies, so that the Union becomes not only more green, but more blue. I think it's a green and a blue union because uh, I think there is no green questions without taking what issues into account. So uh, the effects of this policy on the waters in the different countries are huge. So if we don't integrate water-related questions in this uh, spending of European money, I think we have no proper solution. In this sense, it's absolutely necessary to green and blue uh, these European policies. With climate change likely to add to the pressure our water resources are under in the coming decades, a sustainable water management policy is more important than ever, and the EPP Group is leading the way. For more information on our group's activities, please visit our website, eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching, and see you again soon.